Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Uh, just recently, uh, past week, San Diego Comic Con had released a trailer for uh, Superman vs. Batman, the, a longer official first trailer, I guess. The first one was more of a teaser. And this trailer basically took all my criticism and worry away from uh, what the movie might be and could be. Um, with that being said, you know, those movies are largely based on uh, The Dark Knight Returns. A comic book so I remember having a figure that I, I bought a long time ago I actually never took them out of the box I just had them for a while and uh, I was like man I was going through all my old stuff and I found it and I can't believe I you know I don't know why I think I was moving at the time or something it just you know it got me thinking you know the Superman uh, version of the Dark Knight Returns you know I really like that version they took them and made them huge made them stocky a lot of people didn't initially like them especially when they remade it into a cartoon uh, they didn't like the way they looked, but I did. I got what they were going with that. And so that trailer just reminded me of the figure I had had. So uh, that's what I wanted to review. It's definitely an older figure. And I, I think it's also been re-released -re -re in um, double packs and four packs for the Dark Knight Returns. Um, one with just him and Batman and then one with him, Batman, and I think uh, the Robin and the Joker. They're their versions. So... You know, this is one I wanted to review. I was like, man, I can't. I'm glad because it's almost like me getting a new figure again. I had it. I was in the process of switching, of moving around, and I just must have left it in one of those bins. So something at hand, and now I feel like I have it all over again. So I can't wait to review it. So with that being said, here's my review of uh, Superman: The Dark Knight Returns. So here's a quick look at the packaging for uh, the Superman from The Dark Knight Returns. Older DC Direct packaging, original packaging. You get a good look at Superman, uh, Batman's cow, the torn up one. You also get Green Lantern, uh, Green Arrow's arrow with the kryptonite at, attached to the end from the storyline. Good image of Superman on the side. Some of the other figures that come with it. Of course, you got their version of Joker, Robin, and of course, Batman himself, the Dark Knight, older version. Love that image. Uh, they're st taking that style, or at least that image, and they kind of are showing like Ben Affleck in the new trailer being in that position as he's using his gun to get away from a beam. That looks pretty cool. Talks a little about Frank Miller up there. If you want to pause it, read that. Down here, a little synopsis on all the figures. You know, pretty cool old standard packaging you guys if you collected a few years ago you'll definitely have this or some of the other figures in your collection another thing i wanted to remind you guys is each figure comes with a piece of the sidewalk and i think robin is the one that actually comes with the lantern to build that whole diorama set but you know i really don't care about that for me it's all about this figure so let's open up and take a closer look so here's a great look at Superman from The Dark Knight Returns, and I can't believe I didn't open this figure sooner. I love the classic colors, the look. The only thing is they made him huge, bulky, big. It just really looks awesome. He's standing in roughly seven and a half to a little bit under eight inches, and he looks, man, great sculpting on him. He looks awesome. Moving in for a closer look. The detailing on his body, everything looks really, really good here, man. The colors are bright and vibrant, a lot brighter than I thought they were going to be, than I remembered. Uh, the sculpting, a lot of people don't like the double, the big chin he had, like the Jay Leno chin, but I'm okay with that. Um, I do have some tear there, some wear, but it's an older figure. It probably stuck to the box. I do like the way the cape drapes. Um, has some plastic still here. That's kind of cool. It didn't stick to his body. Body looks pretty good in the back. Well painted other than that blemish. Um, man, just the sculpt. Really, really well done. Even down to his boots. I like the beefiness, the bulkiness he has. His stance, his look. Everything about this figure as far as sculpting and look goes. Man, I got to give it about a 9.5. I would only not give it a 10 just because even though I understand the face... And now it's more like a staple, especially with um, talking about the Dark Knight Returns and the look that they were going for, Frank Miller's look. I just, um, I would prefer a more, I don't know, not, I don't want to say angry, just smoother face. But other than that, this figure is awesome as far as uh, sculpting, the look, overall design. I love that figure. Now, when it comes to articulation, this is an older DC Direct figure, back when their articulation wasn't the greatest, 
but when it came to design, they were ahead of the game. So I think it makes up for it. Now they're getting a lot better, DC Direct. But here, his head has no articulation whatsoever. I mean, it does turn, but that's about it. It doesn't know back or forth. Arms, now they go up about that. He's got about a 40, a 90 degree elbow joint. No hand articulation whatsoever. Very stiff, so some of this might be a little inaccurate. Leg only goes about that far up. Doesn't go back much. He's got a single <laughs> single bend at the knee, and that's pretty much about it, man. But it doesn't even matter because the figure just looks so cool. He's already in a good pose. Um, I I like it. I mean, yeah, I'm a stick I'm a stickler for articulation. I'm not gonna lie, but with this figure it's it's actually okay i don't mind it it's to me like i said before it just has i look at it more like a statue with a lot of movement as opposed to a figure with little movement here's a quick uh look at uh, some comparisons all the way on your left you have the dc super heroes superman much smaller and smaller in stature but the articulation is superior in the middle you do have the dark knight returns and then on the far right you have the alex ross representation uh, quick note the sculptor is Tim Bruckner who the design who sculpted this particular Superman I Actually look at all three. I actually prefer that blue this shade of blue to all the other ones I actually prefer the s to the other ones. So I And uh, you know even the hands are similar, but I man look, comparing it to the other Superman's which I never did I, I'm realizing how much more I do like this figure and as far as face goes, I do love the Alex Ross look, the older look. But actually, I can't really um, knock uh, the Dark Knight version face. Actually, overall, it holds up pretty well with uh, the other two Superman. Now, Superman does come, like I said, with the cow, uh, torn up cow Batman, the beat up mask. And he does come with Green, uh, green Arrow's arrow with the, hit, with the kryptonite. And it does attach right into his hand, like so. It's a little tight, but it fits pretty well. Excuse me for a minute while I grab the other one that rolled away. Okay, so let's add the kryptonite right to the tip of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know, kind of reminiscent from when he uh, grabs the arrow out of midair, comes with the cow. And I kind of like it, man. And overall, I'll just put this in his hand. You know, overall, the figure is actually really, really nice. But I definitely have to recommend it, especially if you're a Superman fan. I'm kind of mad that I didn't open it earlier and have it on display. But overall, I'm really happy, especially when you compare it to uh, <clears throat> the other Superman. It's actually a really nice comparison because I've never done it before. And it looks really good. So overall, I give this figure eight and a half out of ten. Primarily uh, just because of the sculpt of the face that I personally didn't enjoy as much and the lack of articulation Even though it doesn't bother me. I definitely recommend this figure and um, I'm so happy that I opened it as always leave your likes and comments at the bottom for everything remix reviews Please don't forget to visit us at www.comicsremix.com and we will see you next time. Peace I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.